uh, just yeah. found out I had a 20-year-old daughter. Um, ha! So my debate club is... Wait, you just found out about this? Yeah. yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> How would you guys feel? I mean, we're all kind of the same age. I'm, I'm just turned 40. You guys are 41, 42. Just turned 40, dude. Eric, you're like 60. <laughs> but... um. This guy's doing shade. <laughs> Nick, Nick I have no Fuck idea. This guy. Nick, I have no idea how old you are because I don't follow you. Child that you had no clue about. So twenty uh, years goes by and someone's like, "Dad." Depends how she's doing. If she's like an addict, well, here's what I'm needs saying. money. I'm like, like what? Like what do you? Well, I mean, hey, you know what? I, if I, she needs money at twenty, yeah, yeah, yeah. do it. Cause you, they, they skipped all the first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, high school. You know, but, but it's like, not his fault. Yeah, he was, didn't it, know. was it a I was know. it a one night stand though? You know what I'm I saying? Know. Like, how did he get in the situation? What does that say about both people in the situation? That like bad communicators. Or, like, w- it doesn't say anything about him. Maybe we don't know. Well, it could, we I guess. Know. But you know, bro, could. he that might have would, moved to Hawaii. It's better to if you tell. Okay. I think it's better to not, if you're not going to tell somebody, it's better to end up telling them when they're 20 than it is when they're 12. Dude, I would be fucking crushed. Me too. If, if like somebody told me, oh yeah, you have a 13 year old, whatever, and, uh, son or daughter, and then I missed those fucking 13 years. It just, if it's already, if you're already at 12, mm, yeah. get Keep it, it going. to 20. That's like, then you're, <laughs> Let's say, let's say, Eric, if you adopted, let's say you adopted a baby, like infant, like yeah. a month old, and it looks, you know, it looks like you, but you adopt it. It's not your blood. Would mm-hmm. you tell that baby, that kid, when he's like five, he's adopt? I don't think you say shit. Mm. Yeah, it's maybe when he's one, like man. thirty, you're able to handle it. But growing up, I wouldn't. Twenty, yeah, yeah, twenty. Well, if you if you have to make sure you're okay with it because whatever your hangups are. You don't even realize you're putting that on, mm, mm-hmm. you know. Cause okay. I, I did, did I tell you guys an example? I was gonna host this show for, uh, it was gonna be like they were gonna give people twenty three and me. Mm, yeah. But anyway, the producer said to yeah. me that she had like, she did it because yeah. she always had an issue with her mom, uh, and and she realized found out from this that it wasn't her real mom. Whoa. And then it was like, so you're talking about 30, 40 years of your life. Whoa. You've had some kind of resentment going on. You feel, and now you find out that oh, well, this is why. So what I'm saying is if you aren't okay with it, then you do got to tell them at a certain point or you have to get your shit together. Mm. If the kid was an athletic, I'd be like, yeah, I'm not your dad, man. <laughs> I mean, there's a, it's a very obvious Calvin is my son. You're a monster. <laughs> and it's very obvious that he I am my dad's son. a lot son. like you, like crazy. Oh, he's spot on. Yeah, it's crazy. Spot crazy. on. No, but that's that's something else, man. I, I don't I don't even know. Like, listen, I've never... I need more background. I've never met my father before, right. okay? And, like, I... I'm not mad at my mom about it because yeah. I I know as an adult now people make choices yeah, yeah, yeah. based off whatever's going mm-hmm, on because mm-hmm. a lot of people get resentful later they'll be like mom because you know because sometimes women can be like that they'll be like you ain't never gonna see you know yeah but I go like but you made that choice for a reason and what did your yeah. mom say to you about like you know what we have we now we can never talk about call it. Her ask her. Call her, call her, ask her. <laughs> yeah, she won't even know what we're talking so about. So who's this? Yeah, <laughs> but like, uh, I remember, I remember going to her when I was younger, like, but like in high school, and I was like, hey, what's up? Because I was starting to think about yeah, things like, hey, right. well, I mean, is there cancer in the family? Uh, I was thinking about those oh, kinds wow. of things, but she got really defensive, like, I'm your mom, I raised you. Yeah. He's a you graffiti know? artist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. And so you know, but anyways, what I'm saying is, it, that would be tough now. Imagine. Well, he's probably dead. Mm. You know? Maybe, or he's Morgan Freeman. Yeah, yeah, he'd have to be, yeah, I'm sure. You or know old what I mean? Willie. So, huh? Yeah, old old Willie, 90. Oh, wow, what, imagine. Oh you, my God. you wouldn't want to meet your dad right now? At this point now, I mean, I wouldn't mind at this point, right. but it's like, I I, underst- I already have in my head, like, because I remember asking my mom about it when I was like, at this time, she she told me his name, okay? Yeah. And I was like, okay. And then three weeks later, I forgot. And so in my mind, I was like, that, oh, that I, means something. That's you as a kid being like, nah, nah, nah. It's not that yeah, important. Well, important. Correct. But going to therapy, I realized issues of abandonment yeah. have come up because of that. Oh, but, I didn't even, but I didn't even, no, but here's the thing, though. It's not like I was six and my, and my, my dad went to get uh, cigarettes yeah. and then Denver came back. Mm. So I thought, oh, why would I? Yeah. But I realized just from being around other people. Yeah, you, you see need people, that shit. You see how dads are. You see families. And you go, oh, I missed out on that. So it's like, you know, but going to therapy has really helped with and like, Eric, is your, is recognizing your, that. Eric, is your mom white and is your dad black or is it? No, no. My, my mom, I look just like my mom. We're yeah, like mixed yeah. like that. And then the dad, my dad, I, actually, I just don't even know i've never even talked to her about it oh wow could be asian yeah well not i mean i'm sure not you never know 
You know what I mean? I drive he could be really Mexican. <laughs> He could be Mexican. Just a big Mexican. No, if he, Eric's Mexican, dude. <laughs> it's not that for sure. But um, well. it is what it is. My mom's from like, you know, my mom's from, you know, Belize. He seemed know, to handle it well. Yeah, well, well. He's 50, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at this point you have to oh, do what he's supposed to do. Oh, and all 50-year-olds have their shit together? No, but I'm We're saying We're friends they, with Brian Cowan. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> God.